During the New York Jets NFL game on Sunday in London against the Minnesota Vikings, head coach Robert Sala caused a stir. The 45-year-old was seen on the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium sidelines with a Lebanese flag tucked beneath the Nike emblem on his club hoodie sleeve. The NFL's first international match of the season took place on Sunday night, and in the midst of the Israel-Hezbollah conflict, Israeli bombing in Beirut, the capital of Lebanon, continued. According to Lebanon's official national news agency, approximately 30 strikes occurred overnight in the Hezbollah stronghold in South Beirut. The strikes were audible across the city, and smoke could still be seen rising from the site after sunrise. Lebanese-born Saleh had previously worn a patch similar to this one in October, but as the anniversary of the start of the Gaza War draws near, his choice to display the flag on Sunday caused some controversy. Following the assaults, Saleh's attire caused controversy among NFL fans on social media. Some were incensed, while others supported his ability to show pride in his ancestry. Robert Sala is definitely pissing off a lot of the Jewish community in New York City by wearing the Lebanon flag on his head. A social media user wrote on X, the former name of Twitter. A third person commented, I hope they leave Hezbollah Sally in London when the Jets come back to New York. While another added, What a T asterisk asterisk D that guy is. Throughout the first half of Sunday's game, the Jets were humiliated by the Vikings and they were on the verge of a blowout loss until a last-minute touchdown just before halftime. However, several social media users asserted that Saleh's political views would not improve his chances of keeping his position. The Lebanese flag on Saleh's sleeve is the bigger issue. A fan commented in response to another post that criticized the Jets' play. As his team is humiliated once more, I'm not sure that Robert Saleh wearing the Lebanese flag, which he obviously added on his own, is going to help him with his ownership, another person said. Yup, it seems like ruining my football team with his awful coaching isn't enough, added a third. Some, on the other hand, defended Salah by pointing out his Lebanese-American heritage. Someone wrote, He's an American Lebanese. Why should he be ashamed of his heritage when everyone else is? A message from another account stated, It's cool that Robert Salah is wearing the Lebanese flag. I hope he discusses or posts on the situation of his countrymen in Lebanon. Another concurred, adding, Good for him. Since he is Lebanese, I'm confident that this is for his community. He most likely supports Israel. However, by flying that flag, you can be sure he'll be questioned about it. I know I'm Jewish, but come on. He's from Lebanon, and he's watching his ancestors' country in conflict. Another person remarked, I can understand this and support Israel too. Salah is a citizen of the United States and was born in Dearborn, Michigan. However, his ancestors are from Lebanon. Before he was born, his parents, Sam and Phaeton, immigrated to the U.S. from the Middle East. Salah became the first Muslim head coach in NFL history when he was hired as the Jets head coach in 2021. On Saturday night, Israel struck what it claimed to be Hezbollah militant installations in Lebanon setting off fireworks that reverberated over Dahia, Beirut's southern suburbs. After the bombings on Saturday night, the Israeli military acknowledged that it was hitting sites close to Beirut. It also said that some 30 rockets had entered Israeli territory from Lebanon, some of which had been intercepted. In less than two weeks, at least 1,400 Lebanese, including civilians, medical personnel, and Hezbollah fighters, had died and 1.2 million had been forced from their homes. In order to allow tens of thousands of Israeli civilians to return to their homes, Israel claims that it wants to drive the extremist organization away from its border. Backed by Iran nearly immediately following Hamas' October 7th strike, Hezbollah, the largest military group in Lebanon, launched missiles into Israel, claiming it was a demonstration of support for the Palestinian people. The Israeli army and Hezbollah have been exchanging gunfire nearly every day. Following a series of bombings that claimed the lives of longtime Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and the majority of his top commanders, Israel this week started what it claimed to be a limited ground operation into southern Lebanon. This is the worst violence since the six-month conflict between Israel and Hezbollah in 2006. Israel claims that 440 Hezbollah fighters have been killed in ground battles which have claimed the lives of nine Israeli soldiers.
Reports from either side about the battlefield cannot be independently verified.